Hello again. Um, I'm back to work a little bit in um, Outpost, which is my current uh, Cell Spectrum 48K game. Um, it's been a while since I recorded the last video. Uh, well, it's not actually true, um, because I have recorded all the videos, but for whatever reason, uh, I was not inspired or it didn't go well, so I just didn't upload the video. But um, yeah, it's also that yeah, recently I haven't uh, recorded these videos, which means that probably I have lots, lost uh, uh, practice. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Maybe we're lucky, and and the other session, I you know, it may be worth uploading the video. Maybe it's not. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to work in this session is um, to go to the game. Uh, what I'm going to work in this session is uh, I'm going to implement a uh, effect that is quite I don't know quite common I don't know it's been used a few times uh, in the specy uh, because um, the specy uses uh, attributes so it can be quite easy to change how things look and we can play with effects uh, that it might look like we are changing the light on, on the on the scene so what I'm trying to what I'm going to try to do uh, in this session is I'm going to implement um, night vision Google's glasses, right? Uh, so for that, I think I need um, to add a flag to the maps that I don't have at the moment. So probably going to reserve a byte. So I can have um, eight different flags, and one of them is going to be used to um, tell me which rooms in the map uh, don't have light, so they're off. So it's going to be the same map. It's going to be the same map data, uh, but when we find that flag off, uh, because the tiles are going to be the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the attributes so it looks like the lights are off on that on that room. And then the idea is that uh, there is a pickup object that is the, the the glasses. And if the player has the glasses in the inventory we can draw the map in a different way so it looks like you're using night vision glasses. Very simple. Let's see how we can do that. Um, so first of all, um, right, so if I'm not mistaken, this comment is up to date. So for each map, we have map data length, entities length, and map data and the entity data. So I guess we can add a flag. Oh, can we start with the flag? No. So we have the first byte is zero for an empty map. So there is no more data. So I think uh, I think yeah, so it's probably to keep this one first. Uh, unless no, yeah, I was thinking that we can use the flag to skip now. It's probably to use that better to use that one. And then the flag can be the second, oh yes, that the third one. The third byte is absolutely fine. So one byte flag, and what I'm going to find now is how we're going to control that flag. So I guess 
and ta 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 tan when we are looking for the entities in the entity layer because it's not going to be an entity really so i guess it's kind of like this so if we find an object that is called start in this mm, 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 mm. let me see how do i i think i have something else that is called for the terminals i think i implemented something similar so well, i don't remember how this works um bum, 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 bum. so so this code here is the one that is going through the tile layer and it's getting the the tile set the tile data right so we want to put this in the entity layer so in the entity layer hmm yeah, i'm trying to think how can we make this okay we can do something now see yeah i was thinking what if we include the flag in the entities yeah but that's not useful right because usually what i do is when I so blah, 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 blah. when I init a map, I uncompress the map data, expand the meta tiles in place, spawn entities, and then I draw the map. All right, yeah, that's fine. So as long as we always spawn the entities, so we don't need we don't need to do it like this we can have an entity here so in the same way we have one that is a start there is not a real entity it's info an entity yes because the weight is one uh, so i guess we could be doing And there is flags and it's not really going to be an entity so it's not going to use a space and that's probably all I need to do okay let's take a look to tired right so um, so this is where we are so i guess let's copy this one here and we can put it in a corner and say flags and flags probably is going to be a special entity I don't know. I don't want to make it special, really. So, do we really care about X and Y? Where is this place? Um, not really. But putting the entity in this area, it means that we can associate that to that this to that room. So, I guess um, I don't know. I'm really undecided. So managing as an entity maybe just okay, let's go with the flag. The flag is going to be one byte only. So and the flags is going to be for example so two well, it's going to be bits. We don't need to 
put it here. Right, so in here we don't really need this. Do we really need this? No, we don't. Right, so. Where is that? Then looking at tile, so it's going to be flags, and we can have attribute. No, let's call it, for example, flags, flags. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. But the name is going to be flags, that's for sure. Uh, value uh, it can be one did I change flags? yes so flags has value and has current value one um, so in entities in here we have a special case that is a start so it's going to be flags and then it's going to be okay so mm -mm. This is the entity layer, right? So, so map flags or yeah. Ooh, that's Python. Don't put semicolons. Map flags. Okay, so map flags is going to be uh we have something like get property yes so get property from the object then i don't remember so the name of the property which is going to be value and the default is going to be zero um yeah I, we don't really need we're not going to use this And it has to be an integer. Why is complaining about that? So my flags, my flags is a in. Ah, oh, it's a sign but never used. Okay, we will use that in a minute. So we're going to have the my flags. If we don't have flags, it's going to be set to zero. And if we found that, and if there is no value, it's going to be default to zero anyway. But if it's a value, it will be that the flag that we're going to use. And then when we build the, the map itself, which is, yeah, append the entities to the map data. Hmm. Okay, let's do it in a different way. So what do I do here? So my flags, the flower did of, of integer, which is going to default to zero, and then my flags current map is going to be this then when appending this to the map data if there is no map data we don't do anything then if there are 
it is not continue otherwise okay so we still need to consider that there might not be entities where we still want to set the flag right so uh, so okay so we agree that it's going to be the third byte right so out i2 is going to be map flags Set the map flag right, but I think that somewhere we have a placeholder in the map data. Yeah, so, uh, end size per holder zero. So here it is. Which in reality, yeah, that's fine. So it's going to be the size that we know that already. Here we're going to put the entity size and then it's going to follow the, the flag. We find the flags, we send the flags in the actual map. The map comes from this formula here. Then for that object that is called flags, we get the value and we skip because we continue because it's not, not a real entity. It's not going to be in the entities, in the entity list. So we get the flags, and then at the end, we set the flag data. In the same way, we update the map entity size. Yeah. So that's going to be. Okay, I think. So let's compile. Mm. Map has an unnamed object. All oh, right. Okay, so that is because we definitely need to have an enter here. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, it's not an entity, but otherwise it's going to get flags somewhere here. So it's complaining about here because basically um, I need to. Uh, so the, the objects come in tiled in the order that we create them. And very often I copy and paste objects. So um they get in the order that they created in that that's not the order we want the entities in our map data we follow the order that we have in the configuration file so we need to add you know we need to know which order is that entity even if it doesn't exist later on so it's compiling now right so now In the map, so we're going to have yeah. actually it has platforms. I don't know what is that, but it could be part of the flags. Interesting. Um, anyway, uh, so. So map current to while well, is the because I don't remember what is has platform doing because has platform it could be uh, Counting the platforms that has, and in which case uh, we can use the flag. 
because the flag is only one bit. Uh, so it can be on or off. So that wouldn't be useful. But anyway, maybe maybe we can include has platforms so we don't need that variable and because I think let's take a look in game so has platforms if platforms is zero the game doesn't have pla platforms yet <laughs> but it will have them eventually so um, so it's probably here in the map. Yeah, has platform has the number of platforms. Here. So we can use the flag. Anyway. Uh, so has platforms is probably a bad name for the variable because it should be platform count, probably. Right, so we had the flag. Then current address, one byte map length, one byte ends length, plus one byte flags. So, so that's the entities. Why are I? I am doing this. Why am why do I have buffer at the bottom of the memory? So no space. Okay, that buffer is clear, but why I'm not using the entities on the map? I don't think I need this. Hmm, I see. Because this comes from in Bri Rick I use banks for this. So in here I believe this should this could be this as well. So We could be doing this. So current map plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. And this is going to be so. Then we compress the map, which is current map. Uh, okay. Why well, I'm copying the map then? Ah, oh, no, because this is the uncompressed doing the map. Yeah, that's fine. So, current map plus two byte plus two. No, plus three. Because we have one extra byte now. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, and it's complaining about 38. This one. Uh, uh, this is probably something related to. Okay, I could be wrong, but I think this is SDCC. Being a bit of an ass. Yes, it was SDCC. Okay. So, too many changes in one go. No, it's not working. Right, so that red means that something is wrong here. And it could be the map entities. Uh, is this correct? So, current map. So, this is the, the memory address of the first one, the first byte. So, so this is the current address of the map. Then the map length is one byte. One byte for the entity length. One byte for the flags. And then the map length. 
okay, which is the first byte. So map length, entities length, map flag, map flags. Um, and that should be the beginning of the map entities. And the map data starts in current address plus three. Right? Mm -mm. Well, this is no good because it's not working and I already reviewed and it looks good to me. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't be changing the map entities until I know that the flags are loading correctly. This is all compressing place and then we call map entities. At least we know that the map is being handled correctly, right? Okay, fair enough. So it's not... So the map is being uncompressed correctly. So it is these map entities, which is... I removed that bit when I was copying and I broke it. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. So why is that? So map entities and it's actually local to the map. So map entities, well, it's a pointer, should be fine, right? And then in map entities, this should be changing. This should be changing because the only thing I did is adding one byte, right? That's not going to end in the entities. So in here is where we add that. So we add the placeholder which is zero. Zero, one, two. So my flags is going to be zero by default. Then if we found an object that is called flags for that map, for the map we're working on, we get the flag. And then we continue. We don't need to add anything because it doesn't exist in the map. Um, when they are appending entities to the map data, What we do is so we know it's the map size is the set already then then one is going to be the map entities map entities oh wait a minute All oh, right, because it's just the entities plus the entity that made always is, yeah, that one. Yeah, this looks okay. So one, two. It's going to be my flags. Hmm. Looks okay to me. So there is a problem with these map entities. That it used to be an array that we were copying. Okay, so I have changed this. 
So what it was doing is uh what is just copying the the it's just copying the entities to a memory address address. Yes, just a local copy of of the map. Hmm. I mean this is 48 case. I definitely not using banks or anything like that. So why is this not working? Should be fine. We should be able to access the entities because the entities are not compressed. So if we look at mm -hmm, so here, well, I don't know which is the map we're looking at. And besides, it's compressed. But we can see that this is always the flag, right? It's always zero. So, well, I don't know which, which screen it is. Oh, this is one. This is one. So what we're saying is so the map is current is fifty four. That actually we know we're starting at oh, fifty three, close enough. So we change the one that is on the side. Wait a minute. So this is not working for the map that we start. That is the one that it doesn't have the flag. So that this should have a flag zero. That is failing. So it really doesn't matter. It's 53. This is the one. And um, so it's going to be 53. So it's going to be a pointer to here. So this is pointing to this right plus three. Zero, one, two, three. So this is the start of the map. If I add the map length that means that I go to entities and what entities do we have in this one? Where we start, we have one alien and one info. Mm -mm -mm. One alien and one info. So I don't remember how info works, but the aliens should be four bytes. Um, so it should be info first. And yeah, info should be first. And I know what it is. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah, I have added one here. So <sighs> classic. Okay, so that's fixed. So the problem is that um yeah. Although it's never going to be in the map, it's using one ID. And when we were, ooh, not, not quite, but it's close. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so the problem is 
that this has to match this. So on uses and jobs, star is when the player starts. Flags is flags, and then info whatnot. So the first the map is zero, one, two, three. The first enemy now is going to be 11. And that's what is broken. It takes a little bit longer to compile because every time I change the entities. Hmm. Okay. So that's it. And now we have the flag. Cool. Only half an hour to get there. <laughs> okay. So, well, we have the flag and we have a draw map here. So, I guess it's just transform this. So, this is how we render the map which is kind of just super simple. So we have a, ta a tile set, tile map, we translate, and then we bleed the tiles. So I guess the only thing we need to do is if the flag is telling us that the lights are out, we just need to change this. Uh, that's it. How do I do this clean? Um, well, I could have an indirection. Uh, I could have a, a function here that is going to give us the, the right value. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what is best uh, to make things easier for SDCC. Um, I guess we could have actually the tile attribute is, if I'm not mistaken, 16 bit. All right, so let's do it like this. And uh, we're gonna change it later just to make it just some progress, please. So, this is what is going to be the tile attribute as it is. And if map flags, and we need the flags, right? So let's define some flags. There, for example, here. Map flag. Uh, dark. <laughs> and that's it. And if my flag is map flag dark, then TI is going to be, and I have a macro here. That is, okay, set X, tile attribute, then it's going to be the tile. And then it's going to be, for example, we can say uh, so ink uh, blue, maybe. No, that's not right. Okay, so it would be nice. It would be nice if we can see the player. I mean, okay, so completely dark would be like this. 
just like that. That would be completely dark, which is cool, but we don't see. It's going to be confusing. I don't know. Maybe it looks good. I don't know. Uh, so here and here, and it doesn't work. Why not? <laughs> Didn't we set the flag? In tile? I think we did. Let me show you tile. Yeah, this is so annoying because I only have one screen, so... Yeah, there's flags here. The value of flags is 1. And we have seen that that one is set. Uh, no. No, 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 no. It's just that I made a mistake. In here. Where is my map? So it has to be zero, right? So if we get one and display zero is one and then one is two. Right, okay, sorry. Let's try again. Okay, so this should be completely dark. Okay, uh, so I guess that's not really what we want to do if, okay, so the background has paper black and ink white, so I guess, and we know what is going to be the tile, because it's going to be zero. So if, if this, then do this, otherwise, Ink blue. Uh, what did it do? Yeah, okay. Sorry. Let me grab this. Okay, so if, if it's not the tile zero, black is dark. Otherwise, make it blue. So that should let us see the player in dark blue. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. Oh, what is that? Oh, the stairs. Oh, okay, mm, not perfect. Easy. So yeah, we need to leave it like that because if I set the ink blue in the tiles that have the steps of the stair, we will see the the stair, and I don't want we don't want that really. Okay, so that's cool. Now we're going to add. Pick up here. Let's duplicate the alien. Why not? And it's going to be. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, glasses? Maybe. Who knows? Not me. Do, 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 do. So. Um, glasses, excellent. Did I 
tied actually glasses? Yes, I did tied glasses. Right. So, um, so with these, we should be getting the glasses. And if we had the glasses, we can do, for example, I don't remember. Uh, it's kind of no. I don't remember. Don't remember anything. It's been a very long day. Uh, so it's going to be pick glasses. But what is the macro? Mm -hmm. Is defining here? No. It was something like. I mean, I wrote this the other day. Okay, so. So it was not long ago. So it's going to be there is a macro like uh, has. Oh man. So if it has pick up pick glasses, then so ink red uh, right otherwise black uh new no. let's actually complain about oh so in order to use has pickup it is defining player. So in here we need to good player. That was quick. Okay. Um now. Wow, what's that? So we have glasses. So that red is suggesting that there is something wrong somewhere here. What? Oh, <laughs> another one. Yeah. I should remember how these things work, right? Yeah, it's because, uh, okay, so let's, let me show you a little bit. So in order to initialize, so all my entities have an update function, an erase function, and a draw function. And this is a table that is used to initialize. Uh, But I'm not completely sure what is this node. <laughs> oh man. It is config. So when I init that, it's it, it defers 0, 1, 2, 3, which is info. So it's not, that's not what is failing, is it? going on so it seems to be having problems now with the glasses because that's the only thing we have changed yeah but the glasses are here right so player flags and use we're not using that first first item is three zero one two three which is in four so Info is the first one. Then we have the platform that is not done. I don't know why it's there, but then the doors have they, but they don't have draw or erase because you know in not need because they are tiles, they are not sprites. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. So, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is the glasses not working? Send me type first enemy. The first enemy is eleven. Is that true? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, uh, no. That's not true. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What? So that was broken? So that's not what is crashing this, right? Uh, because its enemy type is probably when we use the blaster. So fine, the blaster was not working. Good to know. But this is still broken. I'm going to remove the glasses for a second. And see if that makes a difference. And I guess it does. Yeah, I need to change that code. See how slow it is now? That loop is now... Crap. Okay, let's fix one thing at a time. Okay, I'm putting back the glasses. So the glasses are back. Um... So the entities is definitely not working with the glasses. Why? And this is the extra looks okay to me. Let's did I break something else? No. No. So the gra the glasses are so Italy is the first one. So that has to be zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take a look to the existing entities. Maybe there is something I'm not remembering right now. That's what is breaking it. So we got glasses. Ah, my friend. That's why it was broken. Because I copied the alien. And the alien has one extra byte. Uh, see? has one extra byte and that's why it's broken okay so those are the glasses not super beautiful but glasses if we cut the glasses no let's do it properly so here there's no light if we cut the glasses we have light um looks really cool i like it but i don't know then if i really want the guy to be blue i think i want all red but it's still this is super slow we can't really do all these decisions in here I think this is what is making it terrible.
so let's just confirm so if has pick up the glasses then everything is going to be red otherwise it depends on the type of tile Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the drawing is super slow. <laughs> I mean, it was okay before, but it was because it was super simple. All this logic we added here is what is making it so slow. Mm. So I guess we need to decide before the loop. Um, I mean, also doing the transform here in the variable, it's going to use time, but I think we have enough time to do that. The problem is checking this condition all the time. So, what can we make this? We also can get the can split the tile and the attribute. Okay, let's try that. So we can have the tile and the attribute. It's not going to be great anyway because it's still going to be slow. Ah, <sighs> yeah, no, it's not worth doing it like that. Okay, because what is the macro doing actually? So the macro is going to get the attribute and shift, which is going to be super slow. Yeah, it's kind of convenient to have tiles and attributes like that. But in reality, when you need to do transformation like this, it's kind of slow. Um, one thing we could be doing is um, we could be having an intermediate buffer. So we do the calculations and then we dump very quickly. Quickly. Um, uh, do, 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 which is double the size of the map because the map, the tile set, the tile map is only one byte per tile. And now with the attributes, you will need to. So it would be nice if we can do it on the fly, but obviously we can't really do all this checking. Um, I mean, we can do it. Uh, so we can do use a lot of code, quick and easy. So. So we draw the map normally, which is kind of what we had before with all this. And so this is how you draw the map normally. 
Vai. I need this. Um, so we can see if uh, map flags, map flag dark, then we will do something. It should be draw map dark. I can type. Otherwise, draw map normal. And I mean, it's going to use a lot of more code, but. But it's going to be okay. So this will be the code for tile attribute. It's going to be. I mean, it's going to be slower. I don't know how slow it's going to be. And actually, I thought we have changed this code. Anyway, ah no, I didn't. <laughs> so that's so we didn't fix anything. Anyway, now it's going to be faster. So <clears throat> draw map dark. Okay, maybe. Let's see. So the flag is dark. Dark. Uh, otherwise normal and in dark could be doing so it has pick a pick up glasses then attribute is going to be and back. okay no Okay, because I'm not using this anymore. Thank you. And yeah, because it's going to be whatever it is, uh, which is oh, come on, man! I didn't assign that. So it's going to be tile attribute. Uh, I don't remember now. So it's going to be this. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Okay, no, it's just still it's not fast enough. Looks kind of okay, but so this is fine because this is actually the code we had before. This is the one that is not great. Mm. 
and it's because of this. So it's thirty two per twenty two times that. But I don't think I have a, bu a buffer anywhere. Do I have a buffer? Yes, I have a buffer. Is that buffer used for anything? So it is 20 times that. Nice. It's not going to fit in there. Mm, we could have the attributes only, I don't know. So, yeah, so, oh, no. So, come on, man. So yeah, that's the only buffer I have. This is the only buffer I have. So that's not going to be enough. Yeah, I think this is what is definitely too slow. Because I'm not sure if it's, you can see it, I mean, it can be seen in the video. So this is fine. I think it's reasonable. Speed is the speed that, that I had before. Now, I think I see some snow I'm slowing that why is that okay okay why are you calling that this could it be so oh map where I'm calling that Run terminal. So I'm doing a white vsync here. On the first one, in here as well. Ah. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make sense to do uh, another white V-Sync, really. Uh, but it's still... I think... Um, oh, I'm in the map already. I think I can see some... Some snow effect. It's in the middle of the of the map. I mean, it looks cool. I think this is more or less what I was expecting. Uh, maybe red. It's not ideal. Um, or maybe I can change the buses to be red and it will make more sense. 
So we have last easy to test, right? <laughs> The presses are not beautiful anyway, but so changing that. Mm -mm -mm. How does it look now? I mean, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, I need to change the how I'm drawing this, trying to get it faster because the way it is, it's not good. Yeah, red glasses, then you see everything. So, night googles, I like it. I mean, you can still move around. Well, that screen is not very difficult, really. Because there's nothing really. You can fall, or there's nothing to do. That's another thing. Um, if I add, add an enemy now, the enemy has to be aware of if the screen is dark or if we have the glasses because it should erase the background with a different color with a different color. For sure, otherwise it's not going to look very nice. Anyway. Not the best session, but I think is we got somewhere, and yes, this needs to be changed. Um, but I think I'm going to stop here and have a think about this. If there is any way that I can make this faster, I mean, I can just write that in assembler. That would be a way of doing it. Uh, because I don't need to use these variables here. I mean, we can look at um, what is generating our friend SDCC, but I think it's going to be probably terrible. So draw map normal. Um, is reasonable. It's not too bad. I mean, most of the work is getting the tile right, and it's doing a. This is very much what I would do, I think. Uh, but then in here, so it has to do the same thing to get the tile attribute. But then look at this. It's using this register that is quite slow to restore and then it check it high it has to pick up glasses. Oh wow wow wow. Well it's not super awful. I mean, it's not great great that it's using this. So if I if I had to write this by hand, I could be using registers, and I wouldn't need a, a variable, intermediate variable. Actually, um, what if we do this? So at the moment, so this is what we have, right? Hmm. So this using almost ten bytes more. Haha, -ha, but it's faster. <laughs> Interesting. It's faster. 
well, definitely there's no effect is way less this kind of a little bit in there but almost nothing so that is faster now because it's not using that slow register and it's not allocating memory in the on the stack um, so I guess yeah this can be done better for sure um, I could also keep the loop in C and have a function yeah but having that call for every tile is going to be slow right so yeah this is probably something to write completely in assembler um, or maybe yeah or maybe there is something I'm doing completely silly here and I can't see it now but anyway um, I'm going to leave it here I think it's close enough to what I wanted to do today uh, I still don't know how I'm going to use this but it's very likely that obviously uh, I need to signal the player somehow that we are working in an area where there is no maybe there's no energy there's no power so that's why everything is dark um, but then if you find uh, the night vision googles you can walk into that area and maybe do something over there like for example put in place a battery or something you know fix the power i don't know um but i think it's it's going to be a nice puzzle and it, it looks i think it looks interesting uh enough i mean if we don't pay attention to the speed because the way this draws is i think it's fine and it's all C. Obviously, it could be faster in, in assembler. I might convert both to assembler, and that's it. Um, then, when you walk in a in the dark place, this is what you get. See, the C version is is fine, I think, when you draw normally. And when you go out for high vision googles, then you can see again. And in reality, the effects the effect is very cheap because thanks to the attributes uh, color attributes of the specy, um, I don't need to change my tiles. I just need to change the attributes, and we're done. Um, you know, a lot of games do effects with with this. Uh, you know, the classic uh, dark room where you have only a small area around the the, the character, the player. Uh, that has light so you can see only a small part of the screen uh, which is essentially the same effect I'm trying to implement here it's just that you have the glasses you can see and without them you can't um, anyway uh, that is going to be all for today I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do just like subscribe all those things <laughs> And I might see you next time, maybe not in three months, maybe a little bit sooner than that.